Hi and welcome to this episode on the settings required for the customer portal with Enterprise. I'm Sharon from Enterprise. In this session we will simply look at enabling the settings required for the customer portal. So let's get you started. So within Enterprise here we simply click on the self-service tab here on the left and we're now presented with a set of menus. So for each one of these this is all relevant to the type of transactions that you're customer contacts will be enabled to see through the customer portal. Anything that you define here is specific to all customer contacts. So let's start with the self-service enabled. So let's tick this box. So now we enable the self-service, which is the customer portal for our customers. And you can see here the settings are saved. Continuing on down, then we have an option here to allow add new addresses. By selecting this option, you are enabling your customer to update their contact information, their business address information. So any new address, if they've moved premises, they can do the update for you through the customer portal, saving you time and administration. With restrict item groups. So this is an extra step that we provide. So for each of your customers that you have defined in enterprise, you can then define which item groups, so which product or stock item group, your customer will be allowed to choose items from. So this will be very relevant when you, or if you enable your customer contact to add sales orders through the customer portal. So you can ex reduce them down to looking at specific product groups relevant to their business. So they don't see in a large list of items that are potentially not relevant to their business when ordering. And continuing on down, we have service calls. So tick the box here to enable service calls. This means that the service calls will appear as a tab within the customer portal, enabling the customer, if you so wish, to add a new service call, if you tick the box here. You can select, the def if you're working with queues, you can select the default queue for them, for the service calls to go into. The handle by, so what user will handle those service calls as they come through to enterprise. Default visibility, so that the service calls are visible and not hidden. You can of course select to hide older than. So if you specify a date here and then click on the hide button, you are telling the system to hide all service calls older than this specific date. So be careful not to click incorrectly that you are specifying to hide all transactions or service calls in this case, older than that specific date. So continuing on down, it's exactly the same for all the other transaction types. You get to decide if those transactions are enabled. Can your customer contacts see the activities? Are they visible? Sales quotes, again, enable it and are they visible? Sales orders, exactly the same. And you can also allow to add new sales order by ticking here and show the stock availability. So your customer, when placing an order on the customer portal, will in fact see the stock totals available to them at that point in time from your chosen warehouse, of course. So the default warehouse, you can specify the warehouse here. Sales deliveries, again, we can enable this and default visibility. Sales invoices, same again. Sales credit notes, same again. Then over here on the right hand side, you can go a step further. When well, you've set all these settings, so what happens next? Before we go to enable all of our customer contacts access to the portal, what exactly are our customers going to see? Well, we can do a test access to see that. So we can specify here the customer, click on set test access, and you can see there access granted to self-service test. So this is using your login that you're currently in within Enterprise. And by clicking here on this button here, we can then get direct access to the customer portal using the same login. So now you've watched how to assign the settings for the customer portal. So if you require any further help, please check out our help files on help.enterprise.com where you'll find some helpful articles around the customer portal or reach out to our support representatives here on the chat within Enterprise. And again, you have a link through to the Help Centre from here. So thank you for watching this episode and please check out the next episode on enabling your contacts access to the portal. Thank you for watching.